Hey everyone, it's uh, the DSCG team back with uh, another video. This one is uh, the tutorial for uh, the pocket game developer known as PGD. Um, this app is for uh, building pixel games and uh, eventually down the road you can export it or maybe script it somehow. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to show you how to use it and uh, show you all the basic concept of what everything is. And, you can get this at the Play Store, and I'm pretty sure you can get it for the Apple phones or iPhones at the Apple Store, I think it would be. And uh, then go on from there. So this is the screen that loads up when you uh, first load up PGD platform. And uh, I'll show you what these buttons are. And just keep in mind that this application is still in beta. And it's uh, probably going to be in beta for a pretty long time before they release a full, full version like that works properly and no bugs and stuff like that. Because right now there is some bugs, but we like the developers don't know about them yet. It's the people that try it out that find out most of the bugs and uh, they try to fix on from there. And other than that, they update the game pretty much a lot. And also, uh, if you go into their Discord server, it's uh, pretty pretty much active. You can share your games or play other people's games that were made on here. Um, you can ask for help. You can ask for information, report bugs. Um, just check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, well, on the first page that pops up, it's actually just updates and notes from the developer. Um, there's a Discord button there if you want to join them or view the Twitter or there's some basic tutorials from the developer and I'm guessing some other people I'm not sure I never checked it out myself because I already know how to work this stuff there's also a new tutorial that they posted on this update as you're watching this video um, it's a UI tutorial so you can mess around with the UI instead of keeping a standard UI you can set it any way you want now if uh, you scroll down a little bit here where it says updates and notes you can see it says Smokey Avocado was streaming the new music maker Smokey Avocado is basically like the big boy the big boss of the whole application um, he's pretty busy most of the time but he tries to reply to a lot of uh, messages but uh, like I said he's always busy with a couple of other guys working on this so the YouTube channel is probably like, you know, things that he's showing, like games and updates and uh, bugs and things that might be coming out. And then on the up next where it says fixing almost all the physics bugs in a music maker, that just means that on the next update, they're going to be releasing um, like a beta version of the music maker, but not the full version, just so we can mess around with it because we've been waiting a long time for this. All right. Other than that that's that's what we got for now so we'll close that now on the top right you see it says import games um, when you make games or you download games from discord or get them from whoever you'll get them from and they're created from this actual application you can click on it and you can import games from your your phone or wherever you get them from doesn't matter just click on import and then you can see I have some already in my certain folder I named download and there's a couple games I already have in there and you just actually click on it and you click on the import button down here on the bottom right but I'm not going to click on it because I'm not importing anything I'm just going to show you now let's go back here now these diamonds are um, it's for a store um, you basically buy these with real money so you can purchase stuff in the store without using coins that you get from watching ads so in the meantime, I would say, like, if you want to support the developer, uh, you can buy the gems, and they can improve the application a lot faster. Other than that, um, you can get them for free. So to get free coins, you click on this button here where it says Add. So basically, you get coins for watching ads. Now, when it opens up for me, obviously, there's my coins that I have. It tells me how many ads are remaining. Obviously, six tells me how much time is left four minutes or sorry four four hours 15 minutes 27 seconds to finish all six ads but at that time um defers it says uh, you can watch six ads per day but as the time slowly goes down you get those ads back so if you click on play ad it will play the ad 
uh, then you'll be earned 10 coins for the ad. Now I'll skip the ad and I'm here showing you the results. It says earned 10 coins here. I'm at 280 at 5 ads remaining at 350 and just not even a minute ago which was a, a one minute uh, ad I was watching. Um, it said 4 hours 15 minutes now it says 350. So that's what I was trying to tell you that the time defers. Uh, so once any you get your coins you can actually use them at the store instead of buying gems but like I said if you want to support the developer um, you can buy gems now to use your gems and your uh, coins you need to go to the store um, so the coins button up here on the left just click on that and uh, it'll open up the store so as you can see, when I click on any item on the store, for example, Smash Anvil, it um, shows you to buy for 10 diamonds or you could buy for 50 coins. And it gives you a little description. Um, once you buy it, um, you permanently own it, but uh, you can modify it and everything. But you just can't export the sprite since you've bought the sprite from the store. Uh, down the future, even right now, Avocado is uh, accepting some sprites to put in the store that you would like to um, donate um, for free. And he'll post in the store for other people to use in their games. As you scroll down, this is what they have in the store for now. But it'll actually, like, it'll eventually be updated. This, like I said, this is in beta version. It's been in beta version for a long time and they're still actually working on it. And this is all brand new, but it's actually working out pretty well the way they're working on it. So let's go back. Oops. So here on the top left, where it's not showing my picture anymore, but you click on that. And that's my user ID and my username. And it's linked on my account for this app. So every time I log in, all my stuff is still there. And then on the same menu up there on the top left, an option to change your profile picture. Um, they have some pictures here that you can choose from but it's not much but maybe down the road to add some more um, these are the only ones you can choose from you can't choose any other ones so you can just leave it empty like I did um, you uh, we're hoping that down the road that uh, you'll have an option where you can upload your own avatar uh, which would be cool for a profile picture but in the meantime um, this is all we have Well, that's all I have to show for the basics of uh, PGD. It's just the beginning when you load it up. For tutorial number two, it'll be um, starting a game, uh, how to create your games. Um, so hope you like this video and thank you for watching.